All right. Blood Feast. Introduce yourself and tell me what you do in the band. Adam Tranquilly, guitarist, singer. Tom Lorenzo, bassist. Okay, welcome once again to 69 Faces of Rock. How are you guys doing today? Excellent, Good. bro. Excellent. All right, so tell me about the beginnings of Blood Feast. When did the band form? Uh, probably about 1985, I okay. believe. And Wachung, New Jersey, Earthquake Studios, the first demo was born. And then eventually it got to do Renaissance Records, 1986, 80, and then the album was out in 87. That's um, Okay, let's kind of get to some of it. So, um, how did New Renaissance even hear about you? Uh, solicited a uh, demo to them, I believe. And, um, and we ended up on Speed Metal Hell and Thrash Metal Attack. And that was the start of it. And now, your album Kill for Pleasure came out in what, 1987? That's pretty quick it for a band that only just formed in, in it 1986. It actually came out in Europe in 1986. Okay. I was corrected. I thought it was February, Friday, 13th, 1987. It came out in the States. Uh huh. But in Europe, it came out in 1986. So, and with the extra song, there's Bloodlust on the album. Uh, and what a lot of people have to understand that back then it was not easy to put out a record. No, no. But then it, we were lucky enough. Well, to have the Renaissance and they put us out. Mm -hmm. So that was the start. Um, how did that album do? And, and um, what was um, New Renaissance able to offer you? How did it do? Well, th there was not really any accounting for man, and whatever they were offering us, it was nothing. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. Um, what, what about the sales? That we, I can't even tell you. Mm -hmm. From New Renaissance back in the days, can't tell you. Did you even get paid for the record? I never got paid for the record. <laughs> so, <laughs> some some awful truth is coming out here. Well, I, I I think it's not a, a far fetched thing that anybody that people know about New Renaissance. Well, that man. that was the '80s, man. I yes. mean, yeah, 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 yeah. It was the nightmare of being in a band in the '80s. I mean, you know, well, unfortunately, I didn't get to do that back then. I didn't never got to a solid band until uh, I came back from California in 1990. But yeah, th that's why you have a better bank account. But but honestly, uh, I've spoken to a lot well, of bands who are on a lot of different labels, and barely anybody got paid. Yeah, that's the way it was back then. Yeah, bit thrash bands. Um, I guess well, some of us. Now, you've made an appearance on the first Milwaukee Metal Fest, which was yes. kind of a big deal, probably first oh, yeah. United States heavy metal festival, underground metal festival mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the country. Yeah. Uh, what Jack, were your memories? To Jack Koshik. Jack Koshik, that's right. We were still friends with Jack, and Jack, you know, we always wish him well. And um, he was looking to have another one, and uh, but COVID hit, so. Uh, but what do you remember from your first appearance? Um, I remember a lot of things from there. Uh, go, go for I, it. I remember smoking hash with Chuck and some sacrifice guys in the hotel room. And, and, and which Chuck <laughs> remember, are we talking about? Huh? Which Chuck are we talking from about? From death. Chuck Schulner. Yeah. Oh, and, what a uh, surprise. <laughs> and uh, the sacrifice guys, or uh, death angel. And, yes. Uh, it was, it, I remember a hotel room there. Uh, what about the performance itself? Because you're talking about behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I don't know. It's that's a blur. <laughs> I just have a couple of memories. Yeah. You know. Um, that same year, later on, uh, the EP Face Fate comes out. Uh, what can you tell me about that? Uh, that was just a. Um, you know, we just wanted to put it, put out an EP and keep the buzz going. And while we're we were working on. It was called uh, The Last Remains, it was what it was going to be called. And then I left, and then they re-recorded it as Chopping Block Blues. Uh, which was, so, yeah. but what we have is the true second album, it's called Last Offering for Chopping Block. That is the true second album of Blood Feast. And, um, um, why did you leave? Uh, well, according to well, um, well, I guess it was Kevin at the time. I had personal problems, but it was more I had personnel problems. That was more an issue. So, okay. I'm a happy guy. I get along with everybody. Um, a bunch of grumpy pants. You were not in the band at that time, were you? Not even close. But I saw them close. back. In, I saw them then. So what are your I memories? I saw them in '86. What are your memories of them? I saw them in 1986. They played with Possessed and At War, and it's funny because. 
I was go. I went to see. I went went there to see Possessed at Lemoore, but none of my friends wanted to go. A bunch of pussies. So mm -hmm. I went by myself. Hopped in a cab. Got on a bus. And um, got drunk before I walked in the place and uh, partying with this one now. When I walk in and they they come on stage and I go, oh yeah, I heard about these guys. They were like the new local band, new lo lo local thrash band. See, I live in Staten Island, so for me, there wasn't a lot of opportunities to get into like a band like that, a thrash band or underground type band. Well, what I, I actually I ended up did getting into a band, but. Everything was kind of on the hardcore tip, or the you know, crossover kind of thing. But I saw them 1986 with um, with At War and Possessed that night, and I missed Possessed because I got drunk and passed out in the back of the club. Oh boy! But that was a good thing because at the end I, of the I night, I would not admit that. <laughs> at the end of the night, I ended up seeing a friend of mine getting into a van, and I was drunk and that's standing at the door. We going, oh my god, it's gonna take me four hours to get home, and I screamed his name. I said, dude, help me! And then I hop in the van, and it's with that end. I mean, excuse me, with that end. It's uh, it's uh, at war and Jeff Pizarro from Possessed, and we ended up hanging out the whole weekend with those guys. So even though I didn't get to see them play, I got to got to meet them and become friends with them. So that's that makes up for that. That was cool. Yeah. Um. So when Chopic, uh, the second album came out, right? You were not on it. No. Um, what did you think of it? I mean, it was still. Well, it was my song. Some of my songs are on there, you know. So. Um... I guess it was okay, but I guess they tried something different with the vocals, mm -hmm. and that's why it's the least received album of them all. You know, some people like it, but it's not really. Mm -hmm. I say overall, the fans didn't like the change to it. Um, at that time, was the band able to do any tours? Uh, after I was gone, they didn't do much. Mm -hmm. um, so, what kind of happened with the band next? Well, there was a reunion. Reunion in When did 99. the band break up actually before before we get to the reunion? Um I think they lasted until boy, what, I was gone in eighty eight. They were gone by ninety, I think. Yeah, that, that seems, that yeah, seems good. Maybe. Um what were you doing musically during your time away? Uh, I never stopped playing. I was playing in um a local band doing all originals, it was good, and uh then I ended up playing as a three piece in a band called Headlock. And with my drummer, who's playing with us now, and um, our bass player is the biggest music manager in the world now, gazillionaire, and uh, he's got a lot of really, you know, huge bands. But I, but uh, we kept playing, and um, I, I never stopped. And then Blood Feast uh, came about again in reunion, and how did that even come about? I mean, after all this, from Jack Koshik again. For okay, it was, it was a. Uh, a March, it was March Metal Meltdown in Asbury Park, and, and I was at that show too. Yeah, it was in '99, <laughs> but I didn't see them. <laughs> Kevin put it together, and that was the last time I seen everybody but Gary and Kevin. I seen Kevin, but Louie and Mike I haven't seen him since. I haven't seen him, haven't heard from him, and uh, I had played with Louie's brother in a band too, and I still didn't see him. He never, he never, never, never uh, came out. So. So in 2002, there was a compilation album called Remnants, The Lost Memories, and, and that was right. released. Tell me about what, what, what that, that was. That was Kevin's version of demos and the true second album. Mm -hmm. You know, unmixed, unmastered, it's just raw second album, you know. And uh, some of that is, that is uh, you know, it's on the last offering. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then about a decade later, there's nothing for a decade. What was happening? Um, well, what the, uh, from the reunion till, the, oh, the, from the reunion and then until Germany started calling and they, they asked us to come out there and we put it together. So, what did we do? I did a couple shows with Kevin and his band, um, as Blood Feast a few times, but then they didn't want to, the, his band didn't want it. But that was in 2007. Feast. Yeah, then we came, yeah. yeah, so we came, you know. <clears throat> And then uh, we played a few shows as Blood Feast, and then they were falling off, and I brought Tom in too. Yes. And um, and then we had Chris too, the singer for a while, and um, who's on Future State, and then and then um, and then Joe, our old drummer, he he ended up getting married and leaving, and we replaced him with Adam, and then he ended up dying on us about two two months, three months ago. Well, a little longer than that, but yeah, four yeah, months yeah, ago, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
yeah. four to six months. So this kind of brings me to that release that you already mentioned, which would be the, the last offering before the chopping right loose. Um, tell me a little bit more about that. That's the true second album of Blood Feast. And when was that recorded initially? That was recorded in probably 1987 or 88. It was right after Face Fate. Like we were in the studio, in the same studio. So the sound of it, you can hear it. If you listen to uh, Kill for Pleasure, then Face Fate, and you listen to Last Offering, those three fit perfectly together as far as like sounds. Why was that abandoned in the first place? Because I left the band, so they wanted to redo it again without me. Didn't they realize they had a good thing going? Oh, well, no, I guess they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> back then, I don't think you ever realized anything, right? Uh, well, up, well, that's right. Uh, being a young guy back then, you know? Yeah. I mean, it was, you know, like, yeah, my song, so, I mean, you know. Uh, so, in 2017, um, the future of the state future of state the of wicked, wicked, right? Mm -hmm. uh, with Christopher Natalini on vocals. Yeah. Uh, how did you find him? Uh, we actually got a friend through a friend of ours named Tracy, mm -hmm. and she knew him, and um, you know she introduced him, introduced us to him, and he had sang in a few bands that we had probably uh, we we one the, the three on, piece uh, yeah. me Adam and Adam we had the, yeah. the band with that end we we played all over the East Coast and yeah yeah and um uh, Adam, I remember Chris playing in a band uh, playing with us a few times and yeah yeah. But that's so we so anyway that's so, that's yeah, we got we're all in the kind of same singer and his first scene. show was gonna be in Germany yeah. Uh, what do you think he brought to the band? I mean, you already have established uh, sound. Right, but we didn't have a singer at the time. True. So um, we needed a singer, you know? Did he alter the, w the way he sounded? What's that? Did he change the way the Bluffy sounded when he sang? Oh, uh, he, uh, he did. He, I mean, he was more scream, you know? Mm -hmm. He screamed more than Gary. I would say, uh, and I would say it's more of a 90s scream sound to me, you know? Instead of an 80s thrash album. Um, how did your old fans react to a new singer? I mean, after all, a lot of those 80s guys, they're pretty, you know, die hard. Um, well, that's, that's too. I mean, that's part of the reason, you know, that, you know, we let Chris go, you know, is because of that. But, but uh, we, just, we have to be the 80s thrash that we are. That's what it has to be. So, so, um, so staying chronologically, Chop, Slice, and Dice follow a year later. Mm -hmm. um, how would you say the concept of, of Blood Feast changed with, with all these years passing? Uh, I don't think it has at all, actually. You know? I look at it as more of a natural progression of the way the band sounds. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, you're gonna move forward. You're gonna sound a little different with the new album, whatever. You know, so yeah, I don't that know. kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, what would you say your fan base consists of right now? Um, old school people, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I mean, we get new people all the time. We played in San Diego uh, last October, and I, I just thought this is the greatest thing in the world. There's like an 11 year old kid came up to me with a Blood Feast shirt on as I'm packing up my stuff. He goes, You guys were so great. I'm like, He's an 11 year old kid telling a 56 year old man how good he was. So that was kind of cool. I, I think we catch, I think we get a lot of new kids too. Hell, hell yeah. Yeah, we get all Yeah, But I mean, you know, but the, the die hard old school fans are definitely with us. Oh yeah. They definitely, and then and, and they, they, they fucking ride the same waves we do. They come with us and they, you know, whatever happens to us, they go along with it, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Um, so when did Gary Markovich um, come back into the band? Well, he just came back for these last two, for these two shows for uh -huh. Maryland Death Fest. And Adam just kept badgering him. Come on, dude! Just, he lives <laughs> right near the studio. And he lives right near the, studio, studio, the studio too. Uh -huh. You know, he lives right near the studio. And he got a great band here. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. the best that Blood Feast has ever been. Is what yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like, how did he not? You know, but, um, come on, yeah, right down the road. He know? killed it on the MDF, man. Yeah, he really yeah. did. He did a great job, and it was funny because. You know, he hadn't done it in a while. He hadn't used those pipes like he usually had. He's doing cover band stuff and, and um, you know, plays guitar and stuff like that. But um, I knew that he was going to take it and land it right on the MDF. Like, I knew that, like, any little things that weren't in place that day, it was going to land and everything was going to be perfect. Uh, that was a guillotine yeah. coming down. And, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> but um, he, he destroyed the MDF. I thought we did a, an amazing show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so finally, what are your immediate future plans? Well, we have a couple, we have a show in Philly and DC. Yeah, we got mm -hmm. stuff. Adam's going to be singing those shows. We open, yeah. we did an opening show for uh, Ross the Boss mm -hmm. in Brooklyn, uh, not too far from here. 
on Easter Sunday. Yeah, and it was a great set. It was a great show. We had a good time. And um, uh, and we got uh, and we got the new album. We got to finish up. We yeah. still got to tweak um, that up a little bit. But that's him. That, and, that's him and CJ. You know. Tell they, me about their upcoming that. new album then. Well, it's going to be called Infinite Evolution, and um, it's ninety-eight percent done. And I think and, some uh, of the best riffs he's ever written. And we've got uh, two videos coming with it too. So. Yeah. Okay. How would you compare it to, let's say, what will be the reference point? Pleasure to kill. Kill for pleasure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I think I'm, it's, I'm, it's I'm, creator. I'm, I'm the creator. creator. But like, like I would say, like any <laughs> other. Too much killing. No, it's just, it's, I would say with any other band, it's, it's evolution. Yeah, it's it's evolution. moving forward. Yeah. That's why it's called infinite yeah. evolution. It's Excellent. Thank you, and good luck with everything that you do. Thank you. Cheers, bro.